fourth graders and welcome back. I am Mrs. Lamando here to talk to you all about geometry. Today we are up to lesson six, which is all about finding a missing angle. So if you have a angle and it's split into two, finding the missing one. Sometimes we can call them complementary or supplementary angles. So let's start by checking out this video before we practice ourselves. We speak student. Complementary and supplementary angles, a la shmup. Claude the sad clown has been doing his best to make kids happy at the smiling circus. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much luck. A new fun house is scheduled to be built at the Smiling Circus and all the clowns, Boo Boo, Dimples, Twinkle Toes, and Dr. Gigglestein thought it might cheer Claude if they allowed him to build it. Plus that way he won't depress the rest of the visitors. While building one of the windows for the fun house, Claude finds that the window needs a diagonal brace to support it. If the corner of the window is at a right angle and the brace is at a 50 degree angle from the bottom, how many degrees from the side is the brace? All right, so let's think this through. First things first, let's label our angles. The corner of the window is a right angle, so let's indicate that with a box in the corner. It's also good to keep in mind that right angles are 90 degrees in measure. The only other angle we know is from the bottom to the brace, which is 50 degrees. We wanna find the measure of the other angle. Since we don't know it yet, let's call it uh, X. How clever. To solve this, we can use the idea of complementary angles. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. You look lovely. You look lovely. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Or two angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. Since X and the 50 degree angle add up to 90 degrees, we can find X by solving the equation X plus 50 equals 90. Subtracting 50 from both sides gives us a value of 40 degrees for X. Feeling a little less sad, Claude goes on to build the floor. He wants to make the door to the funhouse tilted so that it's at an angle of 65 degrees. How tilted must the door frame be in relation to the wall? Again, we should start by labeling our angles. We know that the angle of the door is 65 degrees and we'll call the other one X since we don't know it yet. Even though the door frame is tilted, the floor is still a straight angle. Since we know straight angles are 180 degrees in measure, the two angles here are supplementary angles, or two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. Since we know the two angles add up to 180 degrees, we can set the equation x plus 65 equals 180 and solve for x. So subtracting 65 from both sides gives us x equals 115 degrees as our answer. Claude has figured out all the angles in his funhouse, and building it has made him much happier. He still has the occasional relapse, but he's cut down his sobbing sessions to only about once a week. Poor Claude. All right, that was a fun little video to introduce complementary and supplementary angles. Now let's practice. So, <clears throat> Remember, we're trying to find the missing angle. Let's take a look at a worksheet I have that would be helpful. So if we look at the very first angle here, we see the square in the corner, which means it is a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. Define the unknown angle, which in this case has the letter X, we would have to say 90 minus 45. Let's pause and go ahead and solve number one. What is the missing angle? We need to subtract 90, take away 45. When we're ready, let's move on to number two. Number two, again, is a right angle. I know this because it has a square in the corner. That tells me it's 90 degrees. We have one angle that's 72 degrees, and the other one we don't know, so we put an X. It's unknown. To solve this one, we would have to say 90 minus 72. Let's pause and find the missing angle for this one.
When we're ready, let's move on to number three. Again, another right angle. We have one angle that measures 23 degrees. The other one we don't know, so we have the letter X. And just so you know, you could use any letter to represent an unknown angle. On this page, they happen to be using the letter X, but you could use any letter of the alphabet. To solve number three, we're going to have to say 90 minus 23. Let's pause and solve that one now. Now let's take a look at number four. Again, another right angle. I know it's a right angle because there is a square in the corner of the angle. We have one given angle that's 81 degrees and an unknown angle labeled X. To solve for this one, problem number four, we would have to say 90 minus 81. Let's pause and find the value of our unknown angle now. <clears throat> Let's move in to number five, if we're ready. Number five, again, a right angle. We know right angles are 90 degrees. The given angle is 17. So to solve for the unknown angle X, we need to say 90 minus 17. Let's pause and solve that problem now. When we're ready, let's move into our sixth problem. Again, another right angle. I think we are seeing a pattern here. We know one angle is 43 degrees. The other is unknown. It's angle X. To solve number six, we need to say 90 minus 43. Let's pause and solve that one now. All right, if we are ready, let's move into problem number seven, another right angle. Our known angle is 77 degrees. So we are going to solve it by saying 90 take away 77 to find the unknown angle X. Let's pause and solve that one now. And our last one. Problem number eight, another right angle. We have a given angle of 68 degrees and an unknown angle of X. To solve for X, we need to say 90 minus 68. Let's pause and solve that one now. Today, we will be completing a Google form finding the value of different angles. Now, the total amount of these angles is not always 90 degrees, so this is a little bit different than how we practiced. If we look at number one, we can see the entire angle is 88 degrees. We have a known angle of 58 degrees and the unknown angle A. So to solve this one, we need to say 88 minus 58. For number two, we have a total angle of 125. We have a known angle of 36. To solve for the unknown angle A, we would need to do 125 minus 36. For number three on our Google form, we have a total angle measure of 86 degrees. We have a known angle of 62 degrees and we wanna solve for A. To do this, we would need to say 86 minus 62. For problem four on our Google form, we have a known angle of 98 degrees. I'm sorry, a total angle of 98 degrees and a known angle of 64. To solve for angle A, we would need to do 98 take away 64. For problem five, we have a total angle of 111 degrees. Our known angle is 78. To solve for unknown angle A, we would need to do 111 minus 78. 
And the last problem on our Google form, we have a known angle of 120 degrees. We would subtract the 89 to find the value of angle A. All right, fourth graders, that is all for today. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to check in with your teacher and we will see you next time. Bye.